you on the tree here? Yeah, there, you can go anywhere. There's a bunch. There's a bunch of them. So. Okay, so this is the Thuya or Thuja. Mm. It's a J, but you really usually say Thuya plicata, um, the western red cedar. How you say? Thuya plicata. T H U J A P L I C A T A. So this is one that's really good to taste because it has a very distinctive like aroma and flavor to it. It's very high in volatile oil, so like I said before, anything with the high in volatile oil can be antimicrobial. So this is the only tree that you guys have to ice. Uh, but, and she's not going to put the whole tree on the exam, but for, you know, for energy purposes, it's good to like notice the whole, like stand back and look at the whole tree, you know, and you can see in the kind of like, where it's like pointy on top and more, you know, shapely at the bottom. Um, and it's, its branches have a J-like, so it's kind of like a J-like. These are all scale, and they're flat. Like they don't stick up like some pine trees are very like, when you touch them, they're really like, like pointy, you know, they're very really, like quicky and they stick you right away. Mm -hmm. um, and this one always, this one has like um, shaggy kind of red, brownish bark, um, which you can see on that tree over there. And, did you say the name of the Thuya Potata. A red cedar. Yeah, you guys are probably right, red cedar or western red cedar on the plant ID. And it's like, yeah, everyone can smell it. Did you guys get a chance to smell mm -hmm. it? Yeah, it's got a very distinctive aroma. <laughs> but it's really <laughs> great. It it's, a, it. <laughs> it's also a really great antifungal, so it's used in a lot of um, formulas for candida and yeast infections. Um, and it's all, yeah, it's also like a very, it's considered like a really sacred herb by a lot of um, indigenous people. And so it's used in a lot of um, ceremonial, it's a ceremonial herb too. Um, okay, we can.